Hello, this is Vince here from ShoutCastStrategy.com bringing you another replay. As you can see, I am spawning as Zerg, probably my worst race. And my opponent is Alex with the Triple X, someone that actually watches my cast. So the fact that he stomped me into the ground with a very clever prey, prey with a very clever play at the very end of this game. I figured I would cast it. It's kind of entertaining. It's kind of an entertaining game, even though uh, my macro is bad. His macro is bad. We both admitted that. But hey, it was an entertaining game. And there's some uh, lessons I can get out for both of us. A uh, fairly standard opening game uh, by both of us, where we are cross possessions on Metalopolis. So, should be a, a macro focused game, but. And I even called this, I said, so when I lose badly to you, I'll review it, but I didn't quite lose badly. Anyways, while I've got a little bit of downtime here, I would like to just tell everyone to please go to my website, shoutcaststrategy.com. Check it out. It has been recently redesigned. It's not as ugly as it used to be. It's still not amazing, but it is better than it used to be. Uh, participate on the forums. When people do, it makes me happy. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that first. A little bit about this game. I would say this game's taking place cleanly at the gold level. I believe that we're both about eh, mid-level gold players uh, in this expect respective matchup. Alex really doesn't like this matchup and has recently been trying new things. And uh, I'm just terrible with Sir. It's the I started out in StarCraft II beta as a Terran player. I then switched to Protoss, and then I switched to Random. I probably need to switch to playing Zerg exclusively for a while so I can help so I can help teach myself a little better on how to play it because really it, it's absolutely bad my Terran and Protoss aren't anywhere nearly as bad as my Zerg play is. Uh, my biggest problem with Zerg is just my macro play and it's just uh, my APM's just not high enough when I'm playing a Zerg. I'm not thinking enough, I'm not doing enough things, so I am scouting out with this overlord and Scouting out with my drone. Uh, now this is something I don't agree with, unless uh, you scout out an er if you scout out an early expand, go ahead and go with this two gate pressure. But just doing a two gate pressure, especially when it's on cross positions, not a particularly good idea, and you'll see quickly why. Especially if I even played a little bit better, it would have been absolutely horrible for him. But luckily for him, and luckily for all of my watchers, I didn't. So it makes the game a little more entertaining. Do have my queen coming out, uh, getting this gas up high, and I do a slight uh, mistake here, and I'll, I'll show you uh, exactly from my camera angle what my thought process is. If we go to my camera and we watch this drone, we will see this drone run into his probe, and we will see him get murdered by three uh, zealots. So, since I know he's going for an er uh, early zealot pressure, I'm throwing down a roach warren. There we go. And while that's not particularly a bad idea, look how many minerals and gas I have. I don't need to be saving up that much. Roaches really aren't that expensive. I, pro I should probably be getting another extractor right now. And since I'm expecting early pressure, I should be throwing down a couple spine crawlers. However, I decide, eh, that's not worth it. I did build a couple Zerglings, and I keep them on the Zelnaga watchtowers, and this actually makes this game better. It would probably be a lot less interesting to watch because I probably would have lost this a lot faster had I not had it. And here we see the five zealots moving out. No zealots coming in for a backup, so... I'm sorry, there's a six zealot trying to play catch-up. Wait for me, guys. And he doesn't take out the Zelnaga watchtower while he's running by. I always think that's something you should do if you're moving out to attack or just moving out. Take out these Zelnaga watchtowers, it helps. Yeah, we see I finally get my second extractor. I still have way too many minerals and gas. Uh, I was a little uh, supply locked there, so... I am now pumping out the roaches. That would be five roaches coming out. And the ridiculously late spine crawler. So here comes five zealots in here. And they really should run straight to my drone to start killing them. And they do kill one. Uh, but then they go straight for my roach warrant. I don't agree with that move. Go for the spine crawler stick with the drones. Go for the queen something. So then my uh, roaches show up and start attacking his uh, zealots and roaches are actually very, very strong against zealots. My queen gets into the action. I've got a couple drones in the action on accident. So, uh, yeah. And mistake number one by me.
you, I moved the drones off so they didn't get murdered by the zealots, and then I proceed to not move them back onto gas. It's something all players mistake. It's something you got to remember if you ever get attacked and have to move your drones, because most likely you're going to double click or even just drag. You're going to drag a little too far and get your gas drones as well. So, just something to keep in mind. I need to be spitting on this again, but I'm not. I'm throwing down another roach horn since he destroyed mine. Uh, I'm fine. I'm morphing a layer that should come a little bit sooner because, as you can see down here on his base, he is going straight into a void ray. And luckily, he didn't kill this guy off. So I see it coming. And if he had killed this off when he's moving zealots up, I probably wouldn't have gotten this replaced yet. And I probably wouldn't have seen this void ray coming, so I wouldn't have been prepared for it. And he could have done a lot of damage and maybe even uh, won the game with this early void ray. Because you will see this void ray coming up, and I do see it from my zergling. So what do I do? I go up here, and even though my hatchery is getting close to doing, I cancel it immediately so I can start building another queen. Because I know there's no way one queen's going to fight off a void ray. Two queens does. And then I move out these guys to help defend the hatchery and realize that, wait a minute, they can't shoot up. So, obviously I'm an amazing player. He does start attacking this, and I'm like, alright, uh... Time to cancel it. Not going to be able to save it. Not going to be able to do anything with it. You know, it's almost done. It's going to melt away due to that strong beam and that poor drone splatters. I will mention that it is weird that drones have a skeleton, but hey, whatever. Now, here's my two queens running the wrong way. Uh, they come up here and start dealing with this void, right? He shoots a few of my drones. No big deal. Starts attacking my spawning pool. Nothing huge, and we will see in his base that, uh, well, I thought he would, oh, there's the phoenixes start coming. And this void ray is just getting hammered a little bit, and he should just run this void ray, return it to his army, the void rays are still powerful, no reason to try to do more harassment and lose your void ray, uh, like he's about to. Uh, just a waste of minerals and resources right there, there, so, yeah, he's now throwing away about six zealots and a void ray against me, and I still end up losing this game and I'm fully prepared on any harass now I've got three queens I should be upgrading my layer right now I'm trying to click on it try and change uh, the past but nope just not gonna do it come on come on you can do it you know where it's coming you want hydralisk okay well since uh, I can't change the past I will stop doing that and there it finally goes and I did throw down my expansion here and because I notice how many ungodly resources I have and instead of doing smart things like keeping my spits up I go ahead and throw down another expansion in a second we will see a drone run out of here when I just give up on trying to figure out what to do with my resources one thing I could have done with my resources was get more on gas a long time ago as I just noticed that and that hurt me this game too because Zerg are fairly gas heavy in general and here's my overlords and I do finally uh, oh I started morphing that a little bit ago but it, yeah of course I did um, but as you can see he's building up he's got two phoenixes here and they're a nice little harassment against drones and things like that and here's my drone going over to expand up here just because well I have way 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 too many resources but like I said instead of doing smart things like making sure I have eggs on my hatchery or a layer all the time I do stupid things like expand over there and watch how long I don't move this expansion well I, I'm not going to make you watch but I did and it was and by move this expansion I mean do anything with it I just let it sit there pretty if I had saturated this earlier, I probably would have won the game, uh, but there's, well, I can't say that, it's not like I was short on resources or gas, is it? But, well, if I had more gas going, that would help me a lot. Gas was one of my bottlenecks, I have this many resources because, well, I wasn't mining on both my gas for the entire time, and I'm still short on this, well, that's, wow, um, maybe I should just stop playing this game, that was sarcasm, by the way, but... That's really, really, really bad. I'm, oh, and uh, so I get this uh, hive, and I start researching Burrow. I no idea why. Uh, just, I don't even remember clicking on that this game. Just a bad decision. And I do see these phoenixes come up. I see this army coming in. Uh, and I handle this about as badly as you could want me to. This is absolutely awful for me. He comes in and starts attacking my overlord, and instead of sending my queens over there to deal with it, which I had four of, I send one queen over here to get completely murdered, and then I um, go ahead and let him 